say. There's your nasal air flowy sound. Oh, say. That's it. It's that simple. Yo, what's good, Tristans and Trist fam? It's Tristan Paredes with YouCanSingAnything.com. So today, I just really wanted to talk about the difference between nasality and nasal airflow, because this is a question that's coming up a lot, and there's a lot of misconceptions about it. But let's just jump into this really quickly. Nasality. So a lot of people write comments like, isn't nasality bad? I thought we were supposed to avoid sounding nasal, all these sort of questions, and let's just clarify this really quickly. When people say someone sounds nasal, it means a bunch of different things, it, and it's not necessarily related to nasal airflow, which I'll get into in a second here. Nasal airflow is one of the most important things that you need to sing well, and it's not talked about enough. But nasality is when you say that someone sounds nasal, that's a subjective interpretation of what they sound like. That's your opinion of what they sound like. It's not actually what they're doing, if that makes sense, because I could sound really nasal and not have any sound come out of my nose. And people will say that someone sounds nasal for a bunch of different reasons. If you're sick and you can't really talk and no really sound is coming out of your nose and it sounds blocked up. They say you sound nasal. Again, there's no sound coming out of your nose, but you still sound nasal. You can also have sound coming out of your nose. And then you would also say that this is nasal, right? So Nasality can be, you can say that someone is nasal whether or not they have nasal airflow. So nasality, like saying someone sounds na nasal or whatever, is different from nasal airflow. Nasal airflow is something that's more objective. While nasality is like a description of what you think someone sounds like, nasal airflow is an objective thing that's happening. The airflow is coming out of your nose. So we can take something very, very simple like, um, oh, say, can you? The beginning of that Star Spangled Banner. Oh, there's a little bit of sound coming out of my nose. If I were to not have any of that sound come out of my nose, it would sound something like, uh, oh, say, or oh, oh, say. I'm not saying that that's necessarily a bad sound. It's certainly useful for lots of different things and lots of different styles, but you want to have the ability to go, oh, and let it release, if that makes sense, instead of constantly always holding it in your mouth, oh, say. Because then, as you go higher up in pitch, you're gonna run into problems. Because as you go up in pitch, more and more nasal airflow needs to take place. And this has been shown in a number of different studies that I've gone into in the past. Greetings, and welcome to Reading the Research with Tristan Paredes. I'm your host, Tristan Paredes, and today we will be reading the research. <laughs> I have my hot cup of coffee right here. <sighs> Unfortunately, there's not very many studies that are done on contemporary singers, but even in opera, oh, where the head makes sounds like that. Sorry for my terrible opera sound. <laughs> but even in opera, where their sounds are really dark and full and heavy, there's still nasal airflow present as they ascend in pitch. <laughs> this is just a law of singing. This is something that has to happen. And it's completely separate from whether or not you sound nasal, because you can sound nasal with or without nasal airflow. Nasal airflow is just something that makes it easier to sing. It doesn't matter what style you're singing, it doesn't matter if you're singing heavy and full like an opera song, or if you're singing some pop stuff. Nasal airflow is super, super important and every great singer uses it. So there are a bunch of different ways that you can practice adding nasal airflow to your voice and we can go through a few of them. There's no right answer, everything, it just depends on what's gonna work for you. Some things work for some people, some things don't work for some people. So just try it out and see what works. One thing that you can do is go mm, like an N sound, because N sounds are completely nasalized, they're completely out of your nose. Mm, mm, and just slowly modify that towards like an ah, let's say. Mm, mm, ah, mm, ah. Right? What you don't want is mm, ah, and have it just switch completely to going out of your mouth. Mm, completely nasalized. Mm, oh, completely out of my mouth and stuck. That's generally not what you want to have happen. Another thing that you can do is another image that I like to use that works for some people, like my little lovely uh, girlfriend. Uh, uh, what's your name? <laughs> 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 Baby. <laughs> it's to just sing like you're really, really lazy. So like instead of trying really, really hard to sing, Oh, say can you say? Trying way too hard, just pretend like it's like nothing and you don't even care and you're almost like falling asleep. Oh, say can you say? And you get this uh, uh, nasally sound, nasal airflowy sound, excuse me. And another way that you could do this is sort of like if you get like a sigh, like a high sigh, go into sort of your head voice, ah, and just sort of ah, and sigh all the way down, almost like, oh, it's been such a long day, 
ah, that's sort of a sound. That can help too, because if you just stop that, oh, 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 say. There's your nasal air flowy sound. Oh, say. That's it, it's that simple. You can see how these images are more like, they lead you towards relaxing, which is generally what you wanna do with singing, because when you have nasal air flow in your sound and you're not just blocking it and it's all coming out of your mouth, you don't have to struggle as much. It's much, much easier to sing and more of your natural voice will come through instead of something that takes so much effort and it's just not good news. Anyway, hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully that clarified some things. If you're interested in singing lessons, check out my website, you can sing anything.com. Over, start over. No, that's good, baby. Until next time, Tristan's and Tristan's fan, peace.